Hello. Here we are with our weekly edition of Positive Times where we tell you five positive things that have happened in the past one week. Let's begin. In what translates into a best practice, the nutritional kitchen gardens developed by the tribal households in Odisha's Kandhamal with vegetable seeds supplied by the government have proved to be an effective tool to fight malnutrition. The survey conducted by Atma Shakti Trust, a non-government organization on the ground level usage of the seeds to develop the gardens brings reasons to cheer as it revealed that a whopping 96% households develop kitchen gardens to meet their daily need of vegetables. For over three years, the sheikhs of Sayohara have held on to their sprawling haveli. So have the sparrows. 23 years ago, Akbar Sheikh, the patriarch of the family, bequeathed his ancestral haveli to his eldest son, Sheikh Jamal, with an oath that had passed down generations, that the structure of the mansion never be altered and that the sparrows that have lived there for centuries not be displaced. Jamal agreed. His forefathers too had acquiesced to the clause. The 52-year-old continues to fulfill his father's wish. According to estimates of the UP Forest Department, the mansion is currently home to over 2,000 sparrows. On Monday, World Sparrow Day, the sprawling mansion came alive with an event held by the Forest Department in collaboration with Jamal's family. The mansion is popularly known as Goraya Waloki Haveli and is home to over 2,000 sparrows. This at a time when the population of the bird has drastically declined in the urban landscape owing to habitat loss and diminishing ecological resources for sustenance. A 26-year-old RPF constable who hails from Mathra district of Uttar Pradesh went beyond the call of duty and revived an infant who was born in the lavatory of a train headed towards Raurkela, Odisha. Identified as Kumari Sona, the cop used her experience at a private clinic to save the newborn and the mother, who were lying helpless for nearly half an hour. After Sona's intervention, the infant started breathing and later a railway medical team at Raurkela Junction took the woman and her child to the nearest hospital. For her efforts, Sona of Chakharpur Railway Station of Southern Eastern Railway was lauded by her colleagues and seniors. Pranav Tandon, a 2016 batch MBBS student of ERA University was on cloud nine at a convocation ceremony on Tuesday. The reason? He became the first topper of the university after obtaining 16 gold medals by scoring highest in various MBBS professionals and individual subjects. From faculty members to his batchmates, everyone, and deservingly so, wanted to click selfies with him. However, life was not very kind to him. He was diagnosed with leukemia, a type of blood cancer, when he had just passed 11th standard and was preparing for the NEET exam in 2015. He had developed a sudden onset of fever or chills, persistent fatigue, weakness and swollen lymph nodes. Cancer taught me how much life matters and I worked hard so that I can save the lives of others, said Pranav who wants to be a specialist in critical care. A daring act by Banjara Hills Sub-Inspector S. Karunakar Reddy saved the lives of 16 ABVP activists and fellow cops. On Tuesday morning, West Zone Police picked up several activists who were staging a protest at Pragati Bhavan against the leak of TSPSC question papers. 16 protesters were being transported in Saifabad Police Station via Kharatbad flyover in a police van. Shortly after the van crossed the flyover, Home Guard Ramesh who was driving the van suffered an epileptic fit and temporarily fell unconscious. Karunakar Reddy ran along the van, opened the driver's door and pressed the brake with his hand while turning the steering to the left. The van slowly swerved to the left, rammed into a flyover pot on the side of the road and stopped. We shifted Ramesh to a hospital. He is out of danger. The protesters are all safe, the SI said. That's all for this week. We will be back next week with a new edition of Positive Times.